Hey guys, welcome to this workout. This is going to be a dumbbell only leg workout. Specifically, we're going to be focusing on hamstrings and glutes. Um, and before we get started, I always like to do a quick glute activation with my hip circle here. I'm just doing side shuffle walks. And this is great because it really warms up the hip flexors as well. And it gets my body ready for the movements that I'm, that I'm going to be doing. The first exercise is a staple for me and this is the stiff leg deadlift. So for this exercise you want to make sure that you're hinging from the hip, bending the knees only a little bit if you need to. My hamstrings are pretty tight so I have a slight bend in my knees. My toes are pointing straight forward and the dumbbells are held in front of my body. I also want to make sure that I don't allow my head to shift up as I bring my body down, I want to make sure that my neck stays in a neutral position throughout the entire movement. At the top of the movement, make sure you squeeze the glutes really hard and also focus on the stretch in the hamstring as you descend in the movement. Immediately following that exercise, you're going to be moving into the briefcase sumo squat. So sumo means that you're going to have a wider than hip stance and I have my feet pointing slightly outward. I'm pushing my hips back, making sure that my knee is not going over my toes and then also holding the dumbbells at my sides like briefcases. So I want to make sure that I am activating my deltoids as well so I don't necessarily allow my dumbbells to lean against my legs. I kind of hold them out at the same time as I descend into the squat. Love this exercise, definitely feel it a lot in the hip flexors. Immediately after that, we're gonna move into the back lunge with knee tuck. This one is great for getting the heart rate up. And if you need to put your foot down in between the reps right next to each other, that's totally fine. I like to go from the back lunge up into the knee tuck and then directly back into the back lunge. But this does take a little bit of practice and a lot of balance, so make sure that you are steady and stable while doing this movement. I hold the dumbbells at my sides and I make sure that I don't allow my lower back to arch as I step back into the lunge. So I really focus on keeping the weight on my front heel as I bring my leg up and back from the lunge. Next exercise is going to be a hip thrust variation. Here I am also using my hip circle. Uh, so you will need a pair of dumbbells and a hip circle. If you do not have one, then you can always just do it without it. Uh, but I like to have the added resistance and it really helps with feeling the tension in your glutes, but it is not necessary. So I put my feet on the handle of the dumbbells because it gives me a little bit of elevation and allows me to bring my hips a little bit higher. I lift my hips, then open and abduct my knees, then bring my knees back together and drop my hips. And do not be fooled of how easy this exercise looks because it actually is very difficult. And I want to make sure also to maintain a neutral spine so I don't allow my head to be lifted when I lift my hips. So I keep my head down on the ground and nice and relaxed so that I don't feel any strain in my neck. Moving right into the side lunge exercise, here you want to make sure that when your feet are together your toes are pointing straight forward and when you do the lunge that your foot is also pointing straight forward especially on the side where you're going to be lunging towards. That part is very important because that allows me to push my hips back and really feel it in my glutes and a little bit in my quads. And this is called a side lunge with reach because I'm lunging to the side and then I'm also bringing the dumbbells very close to my foot um, which is kind of a deadlift movement. So I'm lunging and then hinging from the hip to bring my dumbbells down. Also I just wanted to remind you guys that the entire workout plus the reps and sets are written in the description box so that you guys can take a screenshot and take it with you to the gym or do this workout at home. Um, this is a great workout to do at home because all you need is just a pair of dumbbells and a hip circle for the entire thing. Moving right into the next exercise you're going to be doing a traditional deadlift. Now um, with the dumbbells, what I like to do is I like to have them right in front of my feet. Make sure to push off of the ground with your heels and maintain a neutral spine 
and keep the hips really far back. So this exercise can be a little bit difficult to get right in the beginning because it's hard without the barbell being in front of you, but if you just focus on maintaining the dumbbells in front of your legs, it's definitely a lot easier. Starting with the dumbbells at mid-calf, you're going to push off of the ground and then allow the dumbbells to come up and in front of your body as you bring yourself up into the upright standing position. Be sure to hinge from the hip and allow the hips to go back. Don't arch or round the back. Be sure to keep a neutral spine and keep your chin tucked. Next, we're gonna move into the static lunge. Here, I like to make sure that my back foot is far enough back so that I can create two 90 degree angles at both knees. Keep the dumbbells at your sides. Keep a neutral spine. Also notice how I lean forward a little bit and I do this in order to activate my glutes a little bit more. If you want to activate your quads more, then you can bring your upper body to more of an upright position and that will allow the weight distribution to be pulled back so that it incorporates more of your quad. But because the goal of this workout for me is to activate my glutes, I decided to lean a little bit forward. And we are almost done guys. The last part, last but not least, is going to be a lateral shifting walk. And this is going to be a burnout, so you're going to be doing a lot of reps of this one. And pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to just shift from side to side, take a step to the side with the hip circle or without. If you do not have a hip circle, then go a little bit lower in the squat and maintain the depth while you are taking the side step and that will really activate the glutes. But because I have the hip circle, I can be more um, upright and that allows me to still activate it because of the resistance. So I just am going to go and go and go until I have accomplished all of the reps. Take as many rest times as you need because the tension does build dramatically on this exercise. And that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this workout. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.